Hi and welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. My name is Shane, founder of MyGo, and today we've got a interesting new test. We are testing the best high wattage cob on the market today, suitable for grow lighting. So this is the Bridgelux Vero 29 Gen 7 SE. It is uh, one of four chips I've chosen. So it's the Bridgelux. Uh, Citizen CLU058, our own Luminous CXM32 Gen 4, and the Cree CXB3590. And these are all top of their game, highest efficacy cobs available on the market today. And what I've done is, in this case, the bridge looks, we've mounted them all into the same arrangement so this is using the micro heatsink and we put the diffused lens on top and put it all together hanging it over our 120 centimeter by 120 centimeter or four foot by four foot test area all at the same height hanging height and we have powered them the same power at the chip so we've taken away any difference that drivers might make and um, powered them at 50 watts and 100 watts to look at them being driven under their nominal voltage or wattage I should say sorry under their nominal power and up and around or maybe even above their nominal power at 100 watts at the chip. Standard test then that we do here is to test the power output. So we measure all the output onto the test area uh, using our um, quantum sensor, the Apogee SQ500. Take 64 measurements of power and we are then able to get the total power output from the light fixture divided by the wattage that it is consuming at the chip and we get the LED efficacy in power output per watt consumed. Just one thing to note on the ranges available, uh, the, or a couple of things to note actually, um, uh, with the Cree, it's the 3,500K color temperature, they're all 3,500K, that's to keep the color temperature the same for all the chips. And we have used the CD bin, uh, AT CRI version. We have not used the 4K dB bin because it's not 3.5K. So just to make that note, because lots of people have commented before. So this is the highest efficacy uh, 3.5K chip the CXB3590 comes in. Another note is on the Bridgelux Vero 29 Gen 7 SE. The version which was available to me for this test is the data sheet rev k which is uh, up to recently there is a newer version data sheet out called the um, l version and that delivers about six percent higher efficacy according to its um, data sheet and the they have a little tool uh, on their website for um, estimating the output of these guys so unfortunately I haven't got that, it's just not yet available yet. I've spoken to Bridge Looks today and they will be sending one out to me, but the difference for afterwards, if we want to estimate for that is 6%. So um, it would be 6% higher. So notwithstanding that, we got them all lined up, set them all up and test them. As I said, test results are all shown. The videos of all the tests and all the results and readings and everything are at the end of the video so if you want to hang on and watch that please do but uh, in the meantime let's go to the results at 50 watts the first and lowest result is Cree and Cree deliver 2.09 micromoles per watt this is at the chip now excluding um, the driver inefficiency uh, so 2.09, the Vero 29 is 2.17, Citizen very close, just a touch ahead, 2.19, but the Luminous still the highest efficacy chip there at 2.36 ppfd per watt. At 100 watts, 
begin. Unfortunately, it's the Cree is the lowest at 1.85 micromoles per watt output. The Vero is 1.94. Citizen is 2.01 and the Luminous is 2.18 micromoles per watt. There's, there's almost 10% more efficiency, efficacy from the Citizen uh, to the Luminous. So the Luminous is considerably better. Um, the Vero, even if you add the 6% that uh, efficacy improvement in the new version is still going to be less. So it would be uh, roughly, what would it be? Uh, 0.12, so it would be 2.06 versus the Luminous 2.18 at 100 watts. So it's still behind the Luminous. And that's why we will be still using Luminous CXM32 Gen 4 80 CRI chips in our grow lights for the foreseeable future. I oh, hope you enjoyed. If you have got any questions or comments, which I'm sure you will have, <laughs> please let me know. And uh, yeah, all the details will be uh, in the description and the part numbers and everything are on the... Um, from the data sheets are on the description and in the in the piece of the video just upcoming so if you want to watch the results and tests please keep on otherwise thanks for watching take care